These are the formulae you will use in financial maths. Simple interest, compound interest, simple or straight line depreciation, compound depreciation, the formula to convert between nominal and effective interest rates, future value of an annuity, and present value of an annuity. When using any of these formulae, remember to get an accurate answer, do all the calculations in one step on your calculator. Do not round off answers in your calculations until the final answer. Let's revise compound interest. Compound interest allows interest to be earned on interest. The interest is calculated on the principal amount and the accumulated interest of an investment or loan. Compound interest makes the value of an investment or loan grow at a faster rate than simple interest, which is interest calculated on the principal amount only. The amount of compound interest earned on an investment or paid out on a loan depends on the frequency of compounding. The higher the number of compounding periods, the greater the compound interest. The formula you will use to work out compound interest is A is equal to P times 1 plus I to the power of N. A is the accumulated amount, P is the initial amount, I is the interest rate written as a decimal, and N is the number of compounding periods. Let's look at an example. Sibo invests 9,200 Rand in a bank for five years. If the bank offers interest at a rate of 12% per annum, compounded semi-annually, determine 1. How much he will have in the account after five years, and 2. How much interest he receives. For the first part of the question, you will be using the compound interest formula. A is equal to P times 1 plus I to the power of N. First, work out the nominal rate divided by the number of compounding periods. This is the decimal value you will substitute for I. 12% in decimal form is 0, 0,12. Divide 0, 0,12 by 2 since interest is compounded semi-annually to give 0, 0,06. Next, multiply the number of years by 2. Since compounding is semi-annual, and you will substitute n is equal to 10. The initial amount invested is 9,200 Rand, so replace p with 9,200 Rand in your formula. i with 0, 0,06 and n with 10. Use your calculator to work out the accumulated value Sibo gets. 16,475 Rand and 80 cents. For part two, to work out the interest he receives, subtract the initial investment of 9,200 Rand from the accumulated amount to get 7,275 Rand and 80 cents.